Just kidding, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just, I love this helmet. It, it worked out so well. What is up, you guys? Uh, if you are just now joining this journey, check my playlist of all the Iron Man suits. You're going to love it as I'm going and learning. But uh, what I got going on here. So it's really coming together. We got a lot of pieces. The arm piece shoulder is new, is finished. You guys saw that working and this guy. So I'm probably gonna do away with this. There's not only a layer shift that happened right there, you can see it, but also that looks trash. This is the left shoulder. Again, remember, I'm gonna print the whole suit, whatever happens, happens, and then we're gonna be doing other parts because I wanna physically hold it. This is the left one and this is how I print oriented it and it's so much better. Look how smooth it is. And minimal supports. I My Cura skills, because I edited that other file maybe a week or two and a half ago. And so that's what a week or two of printing can do for you. This is beautiful. It's going to take it a little bit longer. It's not using much filament. Beautiful supports, all the details, and it's going to look super smooth. And so far, this black filament, PLA Plus, is amazing. So that's what we got going on here. It's going to look pretty dope. The next part, uh, the hand. So I finally finished sanding everything yesterday. Um, it's not perfect, but it's decent. We'll see how this hand goes. What I'm gonna do is finally make my first glove and detail that. What I'm gonna do to address this, uh, make it like a glove, I'm using this kind of like flexible material, stretches, it's pretty nice, and super glue. And I'm just gonna get those guys connected together to the glove. I've never done this before, and shout out to Franklin Built for this great idea. I think it looks awesome how it worked for him. I've never done this before. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited. Ta-da! Works perfect. It holds on well, and uh, my thumb is in place. The thumb is like the biggest part of this print, so it's plenty of room. My hand's on perfectly. So, uh, first attempt. All right, if I say so. Let's do the rest of the hand. Here's the hand. And I put it on, bam, it's not bad, pretty mobile and it holds together. I didn't put the pinky on. The reason for that is I actually wanna show you guys how uh, I nailed down the process for this. I'm not saying I'm a pro, but I got four fingers down, all right? So first thing I learned to do is you put it on your finger. Cause you wanna know, you know, how's it gonna line up? How's it gonna work? Cause they all work differently and that's, this is how I want to do it. So after I have it lined up, get my nice little stretch band here and I just feed it through. Feed it through just like that. The reason I'm doing this, cause these are rings. These are going to stay this way like that on here. And then I'm just going to start gluing the top part first, right? Cause you know, I don't want to cut off this yet. I want to measure it. And so if I feed it through earlier, it works well. Then I, I have to cup this kind of and frill it out. And I tried to deeper is better. Like this is kind of like a, a skin for clothes is how I'm addressing it, you know? So I'm okay if it's stuffed with this stretchy band. That's cool with me. You just push it in a little bit. Super glue dries ridiculously quickly. In fact, this is Gorilla Glue, so even worse it's gonna get on your fingers though do, do expect that all over your fingers speaking of that my fingers are sticking insanely okay so now that i got that one in i try to line this one up as closely as i want it to and that's about good i want it to slightly overlap not too much but remember however i glue it is how it's gonna want to pull back to all right so want it to overlap, but not too much. Line it up. And I have these nice lines on this print that I can see. You can see those right here, those ridges, and that's what I'm lining it up with. Because this thing's gonna want to curve under you, and you see it slightly overlaps, and I learned that that's, that's about perfect. Because my finger can stretch it out when I need to. And this is a pretty good looking finger right here. So now I'm just gonna, this is when I cut it off so it goes onto the glove. And I give it about 
inch and a half. Like more is always better. I can always trim this. I'm okay with that. Um, if I have two less, not enough. I have issues. So this is when I put the glove on and then I put the last finger on. So what I did at this point, I would flip the glove so it's downside because gravity's downside. Add a little bit of glue in there. Remember, super glue, don't need a lot, just a little bit. And then I feed this through by cupping it like so. And I want it as flat as can be. So this is when I flip the glove, okay? So I can see it from the top. I pull on the string to make it as tight as can be. And I glue it. I want to make sure that the orientation is how I want it. So that should do the trick. All right, let me feel it out. Remember, your glue is drying, so the more time you're giving it to dry, the more it's gonna be permanent. So you can still mess with it in the early stages, but not so much in the later ones. So you wanna make sure it feels good. And now, this is pretty perfect. 